hey what's going on guys my name is Abdul Kadir and welcome to my youtube channel so in this tutorial we will build this beautiful project in which we have a modern nav bar which is the completely responsive and then we have a header section in which we have some text and button and on the right side we have a picture so it is completely responsive we will use html css bootstrap and little bit jquery to make this beautiful project so is completely responsive on all devices if you want to follow this tutorial you need to download the starter file the link in the description so download the starter files and follow this tutorial so I am inside the VS code editor so first of all I will create the index.html then the style.css script.js So let's give it a title modern navbar with header then style.css so link our style.css file now go to this getbootstrap.com for above link and copy this and this is our bootstrap and for our scripts and here our script.js custom script so if you download the starter file then already is there and now we need to link the font to some CDN it is also providing the starter files So here our nav bar so open with live server. So close this. So now you are here on the right side you can see the output and here we start our code. Nav bar then nav bar brand which is the build website. Then we have a collapse button and these are all bootstrap classes token navigation i class and this is the font of some icon so this is navbar navbar brand logo and then we have a collapse button then we have an icon for the toggle and this is for the collapse and the ID will be the nav support content here we create our links margin left auto or selector then so left and class is equal to right so this is for styling purpose we will style it later then you will see that why we create the div and give it classes so inside the ul we will create the ally tag now <coughs> go to class naive atom and this is for first link dashboard and this is font of some icon now the second link class nav dash item active and class nav dash link this is the address so dashboard mm. uh, we need to write address first so now your address icon and address book so We give it a text dash wide that's why you can't see the icon now create another link so give it a class bootstrap nav dash item and then bootstrap class nav dash link component and after that nav dash item form some icon 
calendar. The tag class nav dash item and nav dash link charts. Now for the last one, I think this is app dash link and documents. So I can documents. So now the nav bar HTML part is done now. So this is in nav bar and we have some bootstrap classes then we have a logo so let's comment so you can understand it clearly this is the collapse button um, so let's format this and now after that collapse button we have links so this is format a little bit so it will look clean the whole selector which we style it later so this is for the styling and this is our link nav links so first link and we have icon Syntax. So this is the first link. Then we have second link. So you have a class. Then I have an anchor tag. And inside that we have font or some icon. For the component, so let's style it. Look cleaner now. For the calendar class item, now this is for the font of some icon. So now it will look cleaner and the nav font of some icon. So now it looks better now. This is our nav bar. Let's see in mobile devices. So, now style this. So, the, this is for our font that we will use in this project. And for the body, font family, Roboto, and Serif, and background white. Then we set margin zero batting zero for reset and then for icon we have margin right so you can see here so let's change the background color now you can see the icon the icon is white we give it a text dash white class now you can see it clearly now for the nav logo which is the nav bar dash logo target this padding 15 pixel color white and nav bar main bg which is this one and background color black now now we will set back to this so then change this later so padding 0 pixel now first change so now So this is NPG and uh, supported content which is uh, this one ID is never part supported content this is for the links <coughs> overflow hidden and position relatives then for the UL which is this one padding 0 pixel margin 0 pixel and for the icon margin right 10 pixel for the list style type none and float left 
and for the anchor tag we have color then text decoration none font size 15 pixel display block padding 20 pixel 20 pixel then we have a transition duration transition timing function cubic then we have a position relative after that for the active color is black and background color transparent transition supported content not only child then we have the position absolute right 20 to 20 pixel font size font family then we have padding right vertical line then Uh, from rotate 90 degree we will write our script later that's why we first write the CSS part then we will play with styling so for the array selector class which we define display inline block top 0 pixel left 0 transition duration we first write the CSS part then we will move on to the jQuery part so then all things will be clear because we will use this classes in script.js when we write the jQuery code so height 25 pixel and bottom 10 pixel The class is active that why you don't see this address book because for the active we write color is equal to black that's why you can't see that and now for the right uh, which is this one right minus two. so and for the left minus 25 pixel right before and left before and rip content F position absolute height 50 pixel background color select right before bottom zero right minus 25 pixel left before bottom zero and and for the media query nav bar so we want to make our nav bar responsive that's why we write media query here so that it our nav bar looks nice on all devices so this is for the media query and border bottom left radius or selector left right right 10 pixel and for the left we have to minus 25 pixel and for the right bottom minus 25 pixel left minus 25 pixel and this is for the last and yes so our styling part is done now now we need to write the script or js code this is the function text so variable tabs name admin which is target this one now for, for this select a new menu. then we have active item new menu. animation and for the active width new animation height for and then we will active width animation width and item position new animation top for the item position animation left right so now the horror selector for the CSS top this and height active with new anime and width active with new pixel then for the spotted content when we click on this link we have a light move class active because um, we will add the class active 
in a height then in a return for the new position for the hall selector CSS so now now for the document or ready function so it will work so set timeout function test which is this one and for the window on resize function set timeout 500 second and nav part toggler dot click function which is set timeout function test so let's save this and now you can see this beautiful nav bar and it is fully responsive and you can see this beautiful nav bar so it looks good on all devices so pixel 2 then for the ipad it also works and so nav bar is ready now yes so now we need to write for the header part so this is for the quick and for the header tag then we have a class margin top dash 5 padding top dash 5 then we have a container then we have a row we have two columns so the first column is 6 and for the heading class margin bottom dash 4 we will build a website inside this pen tag we have text search info class then we have some dummy text then we have a div and inside this div we have a button which is the contact us now for the column two this is for the image but it will not display on smaller devices that's why we write d-9 and then we have a picture which is this one so picture is not working so class image dash plot so let's download the picture and see oh, I actually write the image URL so this is work.png so now it is it will be shown so our project is ready now we have a beautiful nav bar and then we have a header and it is completely responsive so you can see that you can reuse this nav bar if you want and your website will be look modern so that's it for this video i will see you in the next one